What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more, basically, how-tos. Um, so I got a lot of questions, you know, I rock heavy with the iPad Pro 11, that's my number one. But in my house, I have two girls, and they both have iPads. So one of them has the sixth generation, and the other has the 10.5. That being said, I got a lot of questions about do the same um, accessories work with the sixth generation as well as with the 10.5. And I've featured the 10.5 in some of my videos before, but I've never featured this one. This is the iPad sixth generation, 9.7 inch uh, with the Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil does work on this one. And we're gonna do some tests. Now, this is a video part one. I'm gonna break this down into about four or five videos because if I did everything in one, it would be a lot of stuff. So the first video that we're gonna take is gonna be expandable memory. And will it work with the sixth generation? Let's check it out. So I've already tested the expandable memory on the 10.5 and it does work. Your SSDs, your hard drives, those will work. I'm sliding this one to the side right now. Just wanna let you know that that does work. Now, in order for these to work, this is a SanDisk SSD, not a hard drive. And this is a, my passport. This is a hard drive, USB type C, USB type C. Both of these connect through that peripheral, right? You're gonna need a USB A. So this cable comes with each one of these drives, each one of these pieces of expandable memory, and you're going to need an adapter, which normally comes with this device. Once you have all of that, you are now going to need this <laughs> device right here. Now this is the only one that I can find that will work because you have to have a power source that goes through here. I will repeat this. In order for this USB type A to work on here, you have to have a lightning power source going into this device. This is the official camera three, USB three camera kit, whatever they call it. It's the official one you're gonna pay 30 bucks for. I'm gonna link it below so you can go and check it out. Gotta plug this in. And next, I gotta get some power to this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually got the power cable and I, I changed my mind because I want to show you that 10.5 will work with the SSD. So you just plug that in and it should pop up. There we go. Extreme SSD pops up. Now we want to take a folder or a file and we just want to shoot it over. Nothing too big. Just want to shoot one over, boom, and we want to move it, and we want to move it to the iPad itself in the movie folder and copy it, and it should just go over with no problems, no issues whatsoever. We'll just wait on it, give it some time. There we go. File actually went over, no hiccups, no issues. You can see it right here. Go to movies, it's right there. Pops up, nothing's wrong with it. No corruption, no nothing. File works beautifully. Okay, so now, since we know that that will work there, we're going to take this whole setup loose, slide that one over, and we're gonna come right here, plug in, Go to browse, and remember, this is the sixth generation, and boom, there we go. Extreme SSD is right there. And we can take any of these files and we can shoot them over. Same file, I'm just gonna hit it, hit it, and move it. I'm gonna put it on my iPad, and I'm gonna make a folder called Movies. And copy it to that folder and it shouldn't take any time um, just as it didn't take much time on the 10.5 everything should work very smooth very easy and the file should not be corrupted once it goes over into this device so just give it a couple more seconds here 
and then we're gonna try this one out. Now this one is a four gigabyte hard drive. It's my passport. This is my passport ultra. Uh, you can pick this up at Best Buy for about 129, 130 bucks, somewhere around that price point. So still working, still working. And it took a little bit longer, but over here in my movies, there it is. There we go. Now, if you want to send files back to the drive itself, just going to select that same file, hit move, and we want to move it to the extreme. I'm just going to copy it just to show you guys that it will go back. Now, write speed on this SSD is about 550 megabytes per second. So it shouldn't take that long, but it does. It seems like it's taking a little bit longer to write than to read it from it. Cause our circle is still spinning. Still spinning. So uh, there may be a longer time um, when you're going from the iPad to the actual source itself. Now we're gonna try that out on the hard drive as well. Whenever this decides it wants to upload, it's only a gigabyte. So there may be a, there we go. Go back here, there it is. So it's only like 1.28 gigs. So imagine doing something that's about three gigs, it may take you about five minutes or so, but it's still gonna do it. It's still gonna work just because we now have the ability of iPad OS. So let's move on to our next one. This is a hard drive. So SSD hard drive. I'm just gonna undo this. Start from scratch, set that to the side, hook this up, hook up here, hook up there. So we got the hard drive going and we're gonna wait and see what it does. Now we know that the hard drive is gonna require a little bit more power than the SSD. And I really, I'm interested to see if it's gonna show up. I can hear it like ticking, doing its thing. And normally it takes a little more power. That's why the SSD is probably gonna be the best choice for iPad OS, but I don't think it's gonna start up guys. I don't think it's gonna take the hard drive. Okay. Still trying. Now, uh, since, since it took so long, hard drive will now come over here. I'm just gonna bring this here, plug into the 10.5, same setup, hit that. And we will see if this hard drive connects to the 10.5. There we go. So hard drive will connect over here with the 10.5. There it is, there it is. Everything that I have on that hard drive right there. Um, I've done a review with this before. So I'm just gonna take a file, one gigabyte, and I'm gonna select it and I'm going to move it and it's going to go over to movie folder and we're gonna just let it load up. There we 
we go. So it loaded up, no problem, no issues, uh, nothing whatsoever. Here, there it is, right there. No corruption, no nothing. We got it going, it works, proven. Over here on the sixth generation, uh, we're probably gonna be a no-go on the hard drive, guys. So that is the first hard drive that I have tried. I will come back and do another video, follow-up video of some more hard drives. I, I do have one more that I'll be testing very soon. The sixth generation will not work with your hard drives. It will work with your SSD. So this is gonna be the best bet for your sixth generation SSD. But hard drives and SSD work on the 10.5, only SSD on the sixth generation. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out guys. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.